Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com as always and today we're going to show you how to find, view, and even save your Windows Spotlight background images. Now, one of the easy ways to do this is with a PowerShell script. So just follow this link right here and click download now and in five seconds you'll have the PowerShell script. Now what's neat about this is it's only going to pull out your large images. So what happens a lot of times is there's a lot of thumbnails. They're the, the images that you see with Microsoft pushing apps or games, stuff like that. So I'll show you that in just a minute. But this is if you just want to get the big stuff out. So once you have the PowerShell script, let's see, it should be in my download folder. There it is. And it says, as you see by the type, Windows PowerShell script. Right click and do run with PowerShell. Click open and just wait until it's done and the folder should show up. There it is. So all this did was create a folder on your desktop with all the larger images that are on your computer. Ta -da. Now, you might be looking to get one image. You might want to be getting an image that's not one of the larger images, might be a different size. We can do that. It's just a little bit more work, but not the worst. What we need to know is where the images are kept. So we know by this code right here that I have highlighted in bold, you can highlight that. Open File Explorer. Clear out your path here. You do that just by clicking over here. Now you see it's highlighted and hit the backspace. Press Control V to paste that in. And there it is. Now, right out of the gate, you can probably notice that its file type is file. So if you try to open it, there's not much you can do with it. You can right click, depending on how many of these you have, you might be able to guess by size what you're looking for. Right click, open with, and paint. Any program you have, photos. I don't even know what this is. You got me. So let's try it again, just for fun. Once again, open with, paint. And you see it's one of the icons for the programs that they're pushing. So here's another way to take a look at it. It's where it gets a little weird, but it's not a big, big deal. So this is kind of covering the backup part, which is down here at the bottom. What we want to do is back these up somewhere and then we can see what everything is. So let's go over to our C drive, for example, and do new folder. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it any way you want. And I'm going to name the new folder images just to make it simple. You can name it Spotlight, anything you want. Go back. There's my images folder. Press Control A. And then right, I like to right click and do copy. Let go. Copy here. All right, now that they're over here, let's get over to the images folder. There's two commands you got to know right here. So let's do that. We're going to, I believe it's file, open Windows PowerShell. And let's make sure we type it in so it's, as you can see, we opened right to the folder we're in. CMD, enter. Now do REN, space, asterisk, space, asterisk, dot, J, P G. Let's see if we got this right. I'll tell you right now by going back. And as you can see, everything is now a JPEG file. So what you can do here to actually see what everything is, is switch to view and change your icons. Large, extra large, medium. So for example, large, you can kind of now see everything in that folder. So if you're looking for something in particular, you've just backed everything up so that you have a backup. And you can save anything that you want to save. If you had no intention of backing up, for example, you just come over to your images folder, get the file you wanted, and you can delete it. And of course, you can use that to back up anywhere. So again, the third step down here is kind of redundant, and that would be to go back to File Explorer, and we showed you copy paste. So there you go. This is a nice way to do it so you can see everything that's in there. And again, if you're looking for the big stuff, the PowerShell script is pretty awesome. So. All right, guys, you know the drill over here in the bottom right corner is the Major Geeks logo. If you're still here, go ahead and click that to subscribe. We'd appreciate that. And uh, we always read the comments. If you got anything to say, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you.